The November night deepened around them as they wandered together through the quiet streets, wrapped in a silence that felt as sacred as a whispered confession. The bar had closed behind them, but the faint echo of jazz still lingered in her mind, mingling with the warmth of the wine and the heady mix of excitement that thrummed in her chest. They walked slowly, neither in a hurry to part ways. The moon had risen higher, casting silver light over the cobblestone street, transforming everything into shades of cool blue and gray. Shadows seemed to stretch longer, merging with their own, until it was difficult to tell where one ended and the other began. So tell me, she ventured, glancing up at him, what brings someone like you to a place like that bar on a night like this? She wanted to know more needed to unravel just a bit of the mystery that seemed to cling to him like a whisper of smoke. His lips curved into that slight, unreadable smile. I could ask you the same, he replied, his voice as smooth and dark as the night. But perhaps we're both just chasing something. The words hung between them, daring her to press further, to explore the meaning beneath his calm exterior. Chasing? What, exactly? He paused, as if considering how much to reveal. Something real, maybe, something that cuts through the surface. His eyes held hers, steady, unflinching. It's rare, isn't it, to find someone who truly understands. She felt a shiver trace along her spine, not from the cold, but from the raw honesty in his gaze. It was as though he could see through the armor she'd carefully built, straight into the heart of her hidden fears and quiet longings. They stopped under a street lamp, and for a heartbeat, the world shrank to just the two of them held in place by the quiet magic of the night. Maybe, she whispered, barely recognizing her own voice. Maybe it's not so rare tonight. He took a step closer, and she felt her breath hitch, the space between them charged with an invisible pull that was both exhilarating and terrifying. His hand reached up, brushing a stray hair from her face, and she felt the warmth of his fingertips linger, igniting something deep within her. They stood there, close enough to hear each other's breathing, close enough to feel the heat radiating between them. She wanted to ask him a thousand questions to break the spell with words, yet she also feared it might vanish if she did. As if sensing her hesitation, he gave a soft, knowing smile. There's a place I like near the river, he said, his voice low. If you're not ready to end the night just yet, dot, dot, she hesitated, the sensible part of her urging caution. But that part felt distant now, quieted by the thrill of the unknown. With a slight nod, she followed him, her pulse quickening as they drifted deeper into the city, past the empty parks and silent storefronts, down winding alleys that seemed alive with secrets. They reached the edge of the river, where the water lay still, reflecting the sky in dark, glassy hues. The lights from the distant bridge flickered softly over the surface casting shadows that danced with every ripple. She took a deep breath, feeling the crispness of the air, the scent of the water, and the warmth of his presence beside her. He leaned against the railing, looking out at the water, and for the first time she noticed a trace of something fragile in his expression, a vulnerability he hadn't shown before. It softened him, making him seem somehow more real, more reachable. Do you come here often? She asked, breaking the quiet, her voice almost a whisper. Only when I need to think, he replied, his gaze still fixed on the water. Sometimes it feels like the river understands things people can't. The words stirred something in her, a strange feeling of familiarity, as if she, too, knew the loneliness he spoke of the ache of feeling out of place, even in a crowded room. Without thinking, she reached for his hand, a small, quiet gesture that felt like a promise. He glanced down, surprised, then wrapped his fingers around hers, his touch both gentle and firm. In that moment, with the night holding its breath around them, she felt an undeniable pull, a feeling that whatever this was, it wasn't an accident. There was a purpose to their paths crossing, to the way he looked at her as if he knew parts of her she hadn't even shown him. The mystery of it all, the unanswered questions, the thrill of knowing and not knowing, it all swirled within her leaving her both captivated and uncertain. But as she looked into his eyes, she realized one thing. For the first time in a long while, she didn't mind the uncertainty. She wanted to dive into it, to explore it, 
to let the mystery of him unfold, one heartbeat at a time.